In this video we gonna short recap an history movie called Greyhound. During the Battle of the Atlantic, Convoy HX-25, consisting of 37 Allied ships, is making its way to Liverpool. The convoy's escort consists of the Fletcher-class destroyer USS Keeling, DD-548, radio call sign Greyhound, captained by Commander Ernest Krauss of the United States Navy. The British tribal-class destroyer HMS James F-80, call sign Harry. The Polish ground-class destroyer ORP Victor H-34, call sign Eagle, and the Canadian flower-class corvette HMCS Dodge K-136, call sign Dickey. Krauss is overall commander of the escort ships, but despite his seniority and extensive naval education, it is his first wartime command. The convoy enters the Black Pit, the mid-Atlantic gap where they will be out of range of protective air cover. While they are still three days away from the resumption of air cover, high-frequency direction finding from the convoy flagship results in the interception of several German transmissions, indicating the presence of U-boats. Greyhound's radar operator spots a surfaced submarine approaching the convoy. Greyhound moves away from the convoy to intercept it based on its bearing and gets the U-boat within firing range, but the heavy waves allow the U-boat to dive before Greyhound can get a visual. After sonar contact is re-established, the submarine tries to slip under Greyhound, but Krauss positions his ship above the U-boat and fires a full pattern of depth charges, resulting in his first kill. The crew's celebration is cut short as they soon receive reports of distress rockets at the rear of the convoy. A Greek merchant ship was attacked by another U-boat and is quickly sinking. Krauss moves Greyhound to assist, evading torpedoes fired at his ship with careful positioning. The surviving Greek sailors are rescued, and Greyhound returns to the convoy just as the bridge receives multiple messages from the other escorts. A wolf pack of six U-boats is staying just out of firing range of the convoy, Krauss suspects they are waiting for nightfall, when the escorts will have no visibility. Meanwhile, the wolf-bannered U-boat surfaced, causing Greyhound to reposition an attack, but due to radar malfunction, the range is unclear, and they miss the U-boat. During the night, a U-boat appears, Greyhound starts firing at will, the merchant ship approaches and tightly passes Greyhound. The attack begins with five merchant ships being torpedoed and sunk, one U-boat torpedoes an oil tanker and escapes Greyhound by using an underwater decoy, tricking the crew into wasting most of their remaining depth charges. Kraus chooses to rescue survivors from the burning oil tanker rather than go to the aid of the other ships first, a decision he comes to regret. The next day, the wolf pack targets Greyhound. The captain of the lead submarine, callsign Grey Wolf, taunts the convoy and its escorts via radio transmission, threatening to sink them all. Krauss learns that Greyhound is down to six depth charges, leaving it with no effective response to an underwater attack. The U-boats launch multiple torpedoes runs, which Greyhound is barely able to dodge. Greyhound and Dickey combine attacks on one of the U-boats in an exchange of surface broadsides. Dickey receives minor damage due to the close range of the engagement and Greyhound is hit on the port side by one of the U-boats' deck guns, which kills Krauss's mess attendant, George Cleveland, and two sailors, and Greyhound eventually sinks the U-boat. During the funeral service, Eagle is attacked and eventually sinks, crews are rescued. Kraus, aware that doing so might expose the bad state of the escort fleet, elects to break radio silence by transmitting a single word, help, to the Admiralty. With the convoy close to reaching air cover, the remaining U-boats mount an all-out assault on the destroyers. One of the torpedoes glances off the side of Greyhound, and the other barely makes contact. After heavy fighting, Greyhound sinks Grey Wolf with a full broadside. To everyone's relief, they spot air support deployed from British RAF Coastal Command and use their guns to mark the last visible U-boat, allowing a PBY Catalina bomber to line up a depth charge attack and sink the sub. The rest of the pack quickly flees before they can be discovered. While inspecting damage, Krauss receives radio contact from the head of the relief escorts, HMS Diamond, that his relief has arrived, and Greyhound is due for repair and refitting in Derry, alongside his two surviving companion vessels. The crew is congratulated on their four U-boat kills. As Krauss turns over command to a junior officer, all present on the bridge gaze at their captain with newfound respect. 
While setting the new course, passengers and crew of the remaining convoy ships cheer and send up flares to salute Greyhound's crew for their bravery and victory at sea, while Krauss finally prays and rests. The end. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more movie recaps and thanks for watching.